Hello friends, welcome back. We are starting a new playlist LLMs, the large language models, and it's going to give you a lot of insights and plethora of information on LLMs, the way to use it, and you becoming expert in this field can be possible at the end of this playlist. We are learning alongside you and I'd like to thank Sini who is helping me out in the complete learning process and curating the materials for your easier learning. Let's get into LLMs and this is going to be a fun ride for you people. I'm sure you will like it. Well, before we go in depth, before we go to the advantages, challenges, the types of LLMs, we need to understand the definition of LLM. A large language model refers to a type of artificial intelligence model that is designed to understand and generate human-like text. That's all. We are going to generate human-like text using LLM and it is an AI solution. That's it. These models are built using variety of deep learning techniques and particularly you must have heard of something like transformers in the past and we are using transformers here to generate to build these models. This uses a lot of deep learning techniques, predominantly something like transformers are used here. The key feature of the large language models is their ability to process and generate spontaneously the natural language text with very high degree of coherence, most importantly without missing the context and it is capable of generating all these real time. So what is LLM? Simple, it is an evolution of AI which will help you in generating the human like text after understanding your question and it gives you reply in the spontaneous way and most importantly it understands your questions very well. It uses deep learning techniques. That's all. This is called LLM. Now having understood the definition we need to go a little deeper. Is LLM really complex? It is. The answer is it really is. The large language models are trained on real massive amounts of text data. And from that only the learning happens, the grammar, the semantics and even more the level of common sense reasoning is also included as part of this and yes it is a real complex stuff. They can be used for variety of natural language processing tasks which include the text generation, the language translation, the sentiment analysis, the question answering, summarization and many more. So it is a real complex stuff. One of the very well-known examples of LLM is OpenAI's GPT. GPT is nothing but Generative Pre-trained Transformer. GPT-3, you must be very aware of or you must have already heard of it. So that's the best example that you can pull in here. These models have billions of parameters, very huge amount of parameters, which enable them to generate fantastic human-like text across a wide range of topics and styles. It can talk about anything, chat GPT when you pick up, when you ask questions, any area, any domain, any sector, it is able to give us reply. So that's what we mean here. But there are some limitations that are available here. There are some limitations which we need to consider, which are to be carefully handled. That's going to be discussed as well in this session. What are the applications of LLMs? Natural language understanding. That's the first one. LLMs can understand and interpret the human language. Like it's going to be a very valuable tool for tasks like sentiment analysis, intent recognition, extract, extracting information from the text and many more. Text generation. LLMs can really be very useful and they can generate coherent and contextually very relevant text making it very useful for the task of text generation. And it can help you in content creation, creative writing, automatic summarization and more. Language translation is another area where LLMs are finding a great use. LLMs can be used and fine-tuned for specific languages enabling accurate and efficient language translation services. This is going to be very easy and this reduces the human effort that we need to put in towards the task. Building chatbots and virtual assistants can be done much more easier, much more accurate and much more friendlier way using the LLMs. The information retrieval is another area or sector where LLMs can really help in retrieving the relevant information from such a huge volume of data set, making it very useful for all of us. Content recommendation is another area where LLM has a paramount contribution. LLM can analyze the user preferences, the behaviors to provide personalized content recommendation. That's very important. Personalized content recommendation, enhancing the user experiences on the platforms like social media and streaming services. 
the data analysis is also very important area where LLMs can contribute. It can help you in understanding unstructured text data, enabling you and the organization to gain the insights which are very actionable as well. And it can be helpful in gaining insights from the heavy text resources. It is going to be very helpful for you to generate and to understand the data even if the data is so big. For example, the customer reviews, the social media posts, the research papers, you can analyze all this. So it's going to be really easy for you. Automatic summarization should not be missed. It's one of the very important areas. LLMs can really summarize long text or articles, making it very easy for you to understand as summarized data. It can get you quick points and it's going to be really helpful for you to understand a larger article within a short frame of time without missing the crux of it. Language generation for games. LLMs can be used to generate the dialogues, the narratives and most importantly interactive contents for video games and simulations. This is one area which is growing a lot. Accessibility. LLM can assist individuals with disabilities. This is one research area which is growing tremendously. It can help the people with some disabilities to convert the text into speech or generating text from spoken language and it can increase the accessibility for the people who needs it the most. Rapid prototyping is possible with LLM. It can help you in getting the prototype really very quickly and generate drafts of documents which can further be refined by the human writers. And finally, last but not the least, research assistance. The LLM can really aid the researchers by providing summaries of research articles, suggesting the literature, and most importantly, assisting in information collection. The toughest task for a person who is writing a research article is to understand where do we get the relevant literature. LLM can help you in that. So that's going to be really interesting. Do we have only advantages? Do we have only features that are to be applauded? Do we have any limitations? Do we need to be careful with something? Yes, we have to look into that aspect as well. First point is bias and fairness. LLMs can inherit biases present in the training data. It is based on the training data. So based on the training data, it could lead to biased or unfair outputs. And the results that are given, if it is biased, you have to be careful in analyzing it and choose the best one for you. Contextual understanding is something that we need to look into it. LLMs can understand context to a greater extent, but they can still struggle with understanding ambiguous context. So that could lead to results which are not really accurate. That's one thing which we need to look into. Lack of common sense. LLMs are really good. They are growing. Even common sense perspective it is growing. For an instance, LLM may lack true understanding of common sense reasoning which can result in generating nonsensical answers which is to be definitely considered. Data privacy. Training LLMs require massive amounts of data. The moment you call about the massive amounts of data, the concerns are connected to it following it with respect to the user privacy, specifically sensitive information or any personal information. Over generation. LLMs can sometimes overreact. They can produce excessive or repetitive or irrelevant content also at times. Dependency on training data. That's another very important aspect that we need to really look into. LLMs heavily rely on the data they are getting trained from. So if the training is wrong, the results could be obviously not good. So if a specific topic or a type of language is underrepresented in the training data, the model's performance will definitely suffer. Misinformation and fake content is another aspect. LLMs can inadvertently generate misinformation or fake content which can as well be harmful. Fine-tuning challenges are also there when it comes to LLM. High computational resources are required for the developers to build LLM-based engines. A lack of true understanding is the next very important concern that we have. LLMs generate text based on the patterns in the data, but they may not truly understand the content in the way you and I do, the humans do. Topic drift. LLMs may gradually shift away from the intended topic during the longer interactions. You could have felt this in your, uh, probably in your previous experiences and this could lead to trouble. Ethical and content control. It's very difficult and challenging to ensure the ethical content generation and also controlling the type of the content which is generated by LLM. So you will have to be really careful that it should not get you inappropriate or harmful content. Extrapolation errors are also there. Environmental impact. The significant computational resources that we are using, the large amount of computational resources that we are using, 
which are required to train and to run the large language models definitely is going to contribute to the environment in a negative way. We have to be careful about that. These are all the challenges that we have. Now types of LLMs. We have two types of LLMs that we are going to discuss right now. Base LLM and instruction tuned LLM. Well, let's understand the base LLM which is the first type. A base LLM refers to the foundational or the original or the basic version of the LLM. These models are generally trained on a massive amount of text data and often these are taken from internet or other similar resources. The primary function or task that base LLM meets is to predict the next word in the given context. Next word prediction is the predominant work that we use base LLM for. The results that you are being presented with for predicting the next word or the next consecutive stuff is based on the training that you are giving and is based on the vast amount of data that you have used towards the training and those data resources can be from the internet or other similar resources. Now I am posting a question. Sachin Tendulkar is a great cricketer and the next line is to be predicted. The answers can be Sachin Tendulkar is a great cricketer from India. Sachin Tendulkar is a great cricketer in the world cricket. Sachin Tendulkar is a great cricketer and he is the greatest of all time. So it can be anything. So the result that I am posting can be anything and that's based on the previous data training that you have given and that's based on the amount of sources, amount of internet resources, amount of sources, whatever you have used to train. It's based on the historically available content which you have used for training. Now there is another point that you need to understand. When I ask a question what is the capital of India, at times it may not give me the right result exactly as New Delhi. Instead it can even throw a result which can be another question. That's all based on the popular articles on the internet, the training that you have done, the data that you have used towards training. So this base LLM need not give you the exact result that you are anticipating. For example, in this case, what is the capital of India? When I throw the question, it can throw a question back to you. That could be because we have been dependent on the data sources that way. Base LLMs may not be able to give you the exact result. The LLMs might be using a set of question answer pool or quiz questions for answering that question is the main reason behind these kind of behaviors. So base LLM need not give you 100% perfect result is the point that I am trying to convey. It can get you results which could be slightly different as well from your expectation from the correct results. Well instruction tuned LLMs is the next one. These models are designed to follow instructions a bit more accurate. It's going to be more accurate for you. They begin with the base LLM and are fine-tuned. The word fine-tuned is included here. And they are fine-tuned with more input-output pairs that include instructions and attempts to follow that instructions. This is more driven through the instruction-based thing. So you will get better results. And reinforcement learning from the human feedback is used here. Reinforcement learning is something that is going to help you in getting the system uplifted. It's going to learn, learn, evolve, evolve, all those things. But from where? But from the human feedback. That's going to be used here and that's going to help you in refining the model further. And this is going to be also helpful in getting the model built in a helpful, honest, harmless and a very meaningful way. So instruction tuned LLM are often based on the reinforcement learning from the human feedback. That's the point that you need to understand. So the instruction tuned LLMs are less likely to generate problematic text or irrelevant results or harmful results and it will be more suitable for you to go ahead and to use for much more practical applications. A real good amount of research is going on with the LLMs. Yes, let's take instruction tuned LLM and I am going to take a simple question here. What is the capital of India? And the result would be the capital of India is New Delhi. Now how is it possible here? They begin with the base LLM and it gets fine tuned further with input output pairs that include instructions and attempts to follow those instructions. So this is called evolution, good attempts to follow those instructions and further they are getting fine tuned every time, refined every time and that's what is called as reinforcement learning from the human feedback. So the uh, the latest evolution, the instruction tuned LLMs are basically dependent on the reinforcement learning from the human feedback and that will make the system better and that's going to give you much more better output. Also instruction tuned LLMs will be 
generating the results which are going to be much more honest, harmless and it will be ethically stronger as well. So, the way things are going, LLMs are going to get us much more good things and we will all be using it in near future. The best practices of instruction tuned LLMs are to be discussed as well. If you are unclear about the specifics of the instruction, say for example, if you want to know about Sachin Tendulkar, add an extra text to make it specific. For example, instead of just typing Sachin Tendulkar, you should say Sachin Tendulkar career statistics. That's all. You have to be very clear about the tone of the conversation as well. You want to be professional or you want to be casual or how do you want the tone to be? You can even tell the LLMs that, you can tell the engines that I want the reply to be a little more professional because I need to forward it to people, right? And give LLMs time. It may need time or times to think and it might not be really as quick as you expect. So let it take time for generation of answers. These are all the things that we need to really think about when we are getting into LLMs. So instruction tuned LLMs and the base LLMs, we have discussed this. Let's take a very simple example before we go on uh, with concluding the session. We will take a college graduate as an example. The college graduate, when he is coming into the college, he is like a base LLM. He has got some knowledge, but he might not know the specific. But by the time he goes to the third year or the final year, he would have gotten a lot of knowledge, insights, inputs from other people, professors, friends, peers, and by then, he would be able to get better knowledge and know-how on specific topic. So, with experience, with knowledge, with learning, with continuous learning, it becomes instruction tuned LLM. The college students, when they come in into the colleges, they may not have that specificity. So that's very important to understand. I hope the session was useful and we are going to learn more. And I have given you some resources here which can help you in learning things better. And of course, yes, we are going to have series of learning here, which is going to be definitely helpful to you. Thank you.